<sighs> I finally did it. I finally mastered the last word on mouse and keyboard. But all right, let me start from the beginning. About a month ago, I took a poll on the channel and asked what y'all thought about the last word on mouse and keyboard. The results were pretty straightforward. Now, I'll show you how I put 2,000 plus kills on my last word and mastered it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bravex Hero, and today I'll be giving you the 10 best tips for mastering the last word in PvP. Regardless if you're on mouse and keyboard or controller, everyone can benefit from this guide. But with that, let's get into the video. One of the common misconceptions with the last word is how you should fire it. Some say you should tap fire and others say you should hold the trigger down and let it flow out. After using the last word for about 30 days, I can say it's a little bit of both. I'll simplify this one for you guys. The closer your enemy is, the higher chance you have at just holding down the trigger and melting their faces. But once the target gets further away, then this might be a good time to slow down and tap fire your shots. The main reason you want to do this is so you're a bit more accurate and consume less ammunition, allowing you to focus on aiming rather than reloading. One thing I did notice in the past month is not every fight is a fight for me. The last word is deadly, yes, but just because I see an enemy doesn't mean I have to engage in that fight. There were so many times I caught myself trying to engage enemies that were way outside of my range. After these past 30 days, I came to this conclusion. If you second guess if a fight is too far for you, then more than likely it is and you should avoid it altogether. Why? It's easier to be outdueled by pulse rifles, scout rifles, and hand cannons that have a lot more range on them. If there's anything I did with the last word over and over, it's reload. Reload, reload, reload. You will always be reloading your last word. You fire one shot, then you better reload. Since the last word only has eight rounds, every round is important. It can be the difference of winning the battle or not. One round is a lot. But on that note, I highly recommend you utilize at least one hand cannon reload mod, since this will speed up the reload significantly. Now, when the last word was released, it was a run and gun playstyle, since it was extremely deadly and you could ADS. But with the revamped new version of it, it went from a run and gun playstyle to a patience playstyle. What do I mean by that? Players need to be more patient and selective on their engagements. If you peek out from cover too quickly and choose the wrong fight, someone with an SMG can easily eat your lunch and wipe you out. This is why you need patience on the fights you choose, how you approach them and execute them. When should you ADS? I get asked this all the time. Hey Brave, when do you aim down sights when utilizing the last word? This one's extremely simple to answer. Never. You should never aim down sights with the last word. Not only do you lower the amount of damage you deal, but the recoil is unmanageable and you have a higher chance at winning the gunfight if you just hit fire than you do aiming down sights. Simple. Just don't. Alright, this next part is important, so pay attention. What do you pair with the last word? Personally, I tried everything from snipers, shotguns, fusion rifles, grenade launchers. Heck, I even tried double primaries. All I can say is you need a good secondary weapon you're comfortable with. But okay, there's more to it, guys. Personally, I found three weapons that flowed extremely well with me. Number one was utilizing my trusty sniper, a classic combo for the last word, last word and sniper. Number two, was utilizing the Battler BXR Pulse Rifle. This combo was great, and I never felt like I didn't have the right weapon for the engagement, since I had all my ranges covered. And number three, guys, the double hand cannon combo. I paired the last word with the Igneous Hammer. This was an amazing combo, and pairing it with the Lucky Pants was even more big brain than I thought. Now, taking a look at this garden, where do you shoot? When it comes to aiming your last word, you might be wondering where you should aim. Should I aim for the head or should I aim for the lower body? Well, it's neither. When it comes to utilizing the last word, it has a very generous hitbox. And if you aim directly for the chest, you'll still be given critical shots. But I'll simplify this one just a little bit more. There are two reasons why you should be aiming for the upper chest. Number one, you want your shots to land. If you aim too high with the last word, there's a high possibility that you overshoot your shots and miss. And number two, with the last word being a 225 RPM hand cannon, you can really take advantage of the rate of fire and hit a couple body shots. You're still gonna kill your enemy extremely quick. 
But at the end of the day, landing shots should be priority number one. Regardless if they're headshots or body shots, you just need to land shots. Now this next part is gonna be a little technical. Regardless of your input device you choose, remember that Destiny has two types of sensitivities in game. Your regular sensitivity and your ADS modifier. Since you'll be using the last word in its hipfire form, you're going to want to find a comfortable sensitivity that will allow you to track your targets with ease. Now, giving tips for PvP can be as simple as don't do that, don't do this. Well, if you really want to win gunfights with the last word, don't stand still and you should always be strafing. But let me explain that just a little bit more when it comes to utilizing the last word. A lot of players still don't understand that when you ADS a weapon in Destiny, your movement is slowed down. But when you hit fire a weapon, you maintain your maximum movement speed. This is why the last word is such a great weapon when utilizing it in its hit fire form. You will maintain a good maximum speed and you will not be punished for hit firing it either. This is why you should never stand still and you should always be strafing with the last word because you're maintaining your maximum strafe speeds. Now to close out this video, I'll leave you with my last piece of advice. Don't use the last word on a big map. Sure, you might have mastered the last word, but on big maps such as Eternity, it can be really annoying going up against pulse rifles and other long range weapons. Look, if you're someone looking to raise your KD, then you might want to avoid using the last word on any big maps. That's why it's always good to have a backup loadout for larger maps. The last thing you want is to become frustrated trying to utilize the last word on a big map. All it's going to do is lead you to have a bad gaming experience. But what can I say? Utilizing the last word in PvP was fun. It really brought a challenge to me. And as you can tell, I'm always trying to find new ways to play PvP. And utilizing the last word was a breath of fresh air. I feel like a lot of players are scared to step out of their comfort zones and utilize guns that are going to challenge them to improve. Well, the last word is one of those guns that challenged me and I highly recommend you go out there and give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really appreciate you stopping by the channel. Remember, if you have any fun builds you'd like me to try in PvP, feel free to join our community discord and share them with me. But before you go, if you're a Titan main and you're looking for a great PvP build, then you might want to check this video out on screen. But if you're looking to secure your first flawless in Trials of Osiris, you might want to check out this playlist here on screen. It consists of tips and tricks, the best PvP builds, and the best weapons for Trials of Osiris. But again guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. You have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.